Hi guys, so I've got the Asus Zenfone Zoom. Let's go ahead and unbox it, baby. Hi guys, so here is a box. It's a huge box it comes in. Uh, you got Asus. This phone is powered by Intel. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Boom shakalaka. All right, inside the box, there is another box. This is the actual phone box, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. Uh, it also comes the, with these uh, in Zen credible cards. Uh, I'm not sure what this does, so I'll put that aside. It comes with like a Z character guy. That's pretty much the whole box. All right, Zen phone zoom. So boom shakalaka. Uh, here is the Zen phone zoom. Uh, if you guys notice, it doesn't have a big hump like some of those older Samsung zoom phones that had optical zoom. So that's one thing I really like about this phone. Looks like the Zenfone 2 from last year, sort of the same design. You got sort of a almost plasticky leather back here. All right, you got uh, these two buttons for zooming the camera, obviously. The power button. There is a video record button, and I believe that's a shutter button for the camera. Okay, on the bottom, you will find a micro USB 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and also for hanging your accessory off it. I actually really like that option. A lot of smartphones these days don't have this option, uh, but this one does. All right, attention to details, I like. All right, on the left side, there's absolutely nothing. Uh, on the top, you have another microphone and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that is 3X optical zoom. It's about 28 to 84 millimeters. For those of you photographers, you know the sweet spot for zoom lens is about 24 to 70 millimeters on a 35 millimeter standard. So this one is very close to that 28 to 84 millimeters. Um, so we get that nice zoom range. And one of the things missing with smartphones is that you can't zoom. All right, 13 megapixel camera, f2.7 to 4.8, dual flash, laser autofocus, Hoya lens. I actually use a bunch of Hoya filters for my Canyon DSLR, so that is an excellent lens, obviously. Uh, and also it has OIS. Right, I'm gonna put that aside. We're gonna go ahead and see what's inside the box. A uh, bunch of manuals. There is a little, little holder so you can attach this I'll show you this in a second uh, adapter all right the adapter is rated for 5 volts 2 amps 9 volts 2 amps so it does support quick charge 2.0 and also you got micro USB cable okay here are the earbuds so nice looking set of earbuds uh, it's got this angular shape and it's got one button here and it's got a microphone there all right standard earbuds all right, that's everything that comes in the box. All right, here we go. So Zen Credible Cards. I'm not sure what this is. It's a whole stack of cards. Okay, how to zoom, capture a zoomed in scene, the Zenny under a, okay, just different things you can do uh, with the phone. Zoom in on a Zenny and a, something in a bubble bath. All right, beauty mode, sports. All right, these are cards I think supposed to help you take better photos. All, right, all the different things you can take. I think I'm gonna give this to Peony. She's gonna enjoy having these cards. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let me go ahead and power on this bad boy. Okay, it's turning on. All right. All right, let me go ahead and skip through all of this. Okay guys, so this is a 1080p screen. All right, the viewing angles are pretty good. I got it at full brightness. All right, uh, it is running Android 5.0. There is a back cover. All right, it is a dual SIM phone, as you can see here. A micro SD card and a micro SIM. I swear it was supposed to be a dual SIM. Maybe the model I have is not dual SIM. All right, here's the camera. Let me take a photo for you guys. It's a 13 megapixel camera. All right, color reproduction. Not bad on the little cool side. Not sure if that's from the LCD or the actual camera. Uh, let me go ahead and try zooming in. So this is optical zoom. And look at that. So 3x. 
So this is really nice. It actually zooms and I have it about, let's say like 10 inches and it can still focus. It can still focus pretty good. Let me bring it out a little bit. So let me try to fit the whole car in here and I'll take a photo for you guys. Okay, I took a photo. So how does that compare uh, to some something else? That's the question. So I've got my Sony RX 104, which is uh, equivalent to 35 millimeter, 24 to 70 millimeter. That's 24 millimeter equivalent. This is 28 millimeter equivalent. So not as wide angle, All right? And I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit this into the screen right there. You see the camera has a hard time uh, focusing because I'm way too close. So let me put that in manual. See if I can manually focus. Ah. So even with this thousand dollar camera, I can't focus in. You see that? I'm right there. I'm gonna do the same thing from the same spot and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and you're, you'll see that I'm able to focus with this one. So right away, one thing I like about this is that the focusing, the minimum focusing range is a lot shorter uh, than even my Sony RX 104. The thing with zoom lenses is when you zoom in, you have to make sure your minimum focusing distance is a certain distance. Um, the shorter, it's obviously the better because you're gonna be able to get these nice macro shots of photos. Right. I'll have further testing, but that's one thing I like about it. The only thing missing with this phone is 4K. So if you guys need 4K, uh, this phone doesn't have it. Um, so that's the front camera. Okay, there's a bunch of different modes. Beautification, that's sort of beauty mode. Self panorama, uh, HDR, low light, shift animations, time lapse. All right, let me go back to the other back camera. I was going to show you the different modes. There we go. So look at all these different modes, uh, manual, uh, all this. I'm gonna show you all these other ones probably in another video, but I wanna get, show you guys the manual mode. So this is the manual mode. You got some nice meters, histogram, all right? You can change the white balance. So right now, I'm using 5000K LED lights. Let's see if it's right on. My camera that's recording right now, it's actually a lot cooler than the actual temperature. So this is actually the correct temperature that I'm seeing in real life. So the difference between here, um, I don't see that. It's actually the same color. So white balance is good. Uh, you can go ahead and control the ISO from 50 to 3200. All right, shutter speed, you can set from 32 seconds up to uh, 16,000. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, can you do that with video? All right, that's what I'm wondering. So video does have manual mode, just like LG V10. There's no shutter speed control for video, just only ISO, All right, it's not bad. All right, let me go ahead and wrap it up for you guys because this review is getting kind of long. Very good concept. This is the first smartphone with optical zoom uh, that doesn't stick out. A ton. Samsung had those weird looking phones that was sort of like a compact camera slash smartphone. But this is a super slim with 3x optical and that actually translates to very good zoom range. Now with that said, the aperture is a bit high, 2.7 to 4.8. So you're not gonna get that depth of field, a bokeh. But the optical zoom works really well in certain situations. I think this is just tip of the iceberg. We're gonna see more phones with optical zoom enabled inside the body of the smartphone. What's amazing about this phone is that all of that zoom technology is embedded inside the phone. Uh, it doesn't stick out. You get a nice zoom range without the length. Even my Sony RX 104, uh, it comes out almost this much. My DSLR, this much. This one, all of that is inside the body of the smartphone. Just the tip of the iceberg, you can grab this for $399 on BNH. They have exclusive orders for US customers right now. Maybe you bought tickets to your next concert, you couldn't afford the front seats, you're way in the back of the stadium, you got your smartphone, you take a video, photo, uh, everything is just way too far away. Now with this, you're gonna be able to turn that same photo zoomed in without distortion. Uh, one of the biggest problems with smartphones these days. And you'll have a full review video in a couple days after I tinker with it a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram. And as always, stay. <laughs>